So this is a uh, film to show you how to use the whole tool. Here I'm using Professional 18 uh, Pro Platinum. Uh, this The whole tool is only available in the uh, Pro Platinum range. And that's the only one I deal with, so I'm fine. Um, we've got a block here that I've drawn, which is 100 millimeters by 200 millimeters and 50 high. So what we're going to imagine we're going to do is put a, a row of eight holes along this uh, work plane, this surface. Uh, equal distance apart and say 20 mil in from one end. Now th there's probably lots of different ways of doing this but I'll show you the method I, I would use. I'm, I'm sure some people say well that's, that's a long way around but anyway it's what I would do. I would draw some construction lines on my surface here. So the first thing I'm going to do is make that surface my work plane. So that's the surface I'm working on. I'm then going to put some construction lines on that surface. I'm going to put one on here, uh, one there, and now I can snap the midpoint of those lines and now I've got a, a line going all the way through the midpoint. Now if the first one's hole is going to be say 20 in, I could use the parallel line tool, this one here. Parallel line down the bottom here offsets to one millimeter. That's the default. If I said I wanted them 20 mil in the first one, and then I can click onto that line. There's my one line, and there's the one at the other end. Now, what I'd probably do at this point now is I would select all those lines. Oh, I missed that there. Select all those lines, and make them a different color, just so that you could distinguish them. I'd also probably put them on a different layer at some point. Okay, so here's the position of our first hole here. So now we can shoot, what we've got to draw is points along here where our holes are going to be created. So if I right click, here's my point tools. You can use the dot, but it's really very small, you can't see it. I suppose you can use the stars or the squares, I don't know, I mean you just wouldn't use those ones. Uh, you can't use a circle, but you can use the cross, which is probably the most useful one. So if I click onto the cross, right click, go to properties, point, I'm going to make it bigger. See, all these things default to one, you can't see one. So I'm going to say seven, and I'm going to make it a different color, just so it stands out a little bit, make it blue, and say OK. I'm going to put my first one there, that, those two lines meet crossing each other in intersection, so I'm going to hit I on my keyboard, and there's my first blue one. Hit the spacebar, come out the tool. Now, I'm going to use the copying tools up here to space the eight holes out along here. These are all greyed out because I've not got anything selected. So I'm going to select that cross, these now become live, and I want to select a linear fit copy. Click onto it. Now, down here you see these things are moving all the time I'm doing this. Well, I'm not going to be bothered about that. I'm just going to tab all the way through because I know I wanted eight. Okay, so the eight is set. I just clicked on my left click again, uh, mouse there again. I'm going to come through here and there's an intersection, so I'm going to hit I. So there's eight crosses uh, equal distance apart. Here is the hole tool, add holes. I click onto that, I right click, I go to properties, say OK, and sorry, properties, hole. Right, plain hole. So now we define the hole. Let's have a tapped hole. There it is. Depth of the hole is 3 mil, well that's not much good to us, so let's say the depth of the hole is uh, 20 mil. Uh, the diameter we say was uh, 8. The reach, does it go all the way through or to the next face or normal, we'll just leave normal. The thread depth, so how far down that 20 mil does it go, if we say 15. And the thread pitch, uh, we'll say it's 4, mm, it's a bit bigger now. Sets two just so that we can see it easy. Then we say OK, and then we just go around and click on each one. So I click on the first one, there it is. Put my finger on Shift, 
and click on all the other ones. Now, it might be a way of selecting them and doing them all together, but this, there's only a few here. Uh, there's all my tacked holes, I suppose. And then I hit the finish flag, and there they are. There are the holes. Okay, so, um, and then, well, then I would turn off the um, uh, these things here, which are construction lines, or actually just turn off the layer. But, anyway, so that's how it works. That might probably be the one, wrong way round for you, but you can see how uh, the tool works. And, uh, as I say, it's only in the professional platinum versions. Okay, that's about it. So we can... Call it a day.